Okay, so what I'm seeing here is there's some kind of influence. It's some kind of bad influence. I think someone was being influenced, uh, obviously, by um, someone who wasn't very good. This is, um, yeah, I hate seeing this because I think this is about someone you care about. This is, um, it might even be someone you might have even taken care of at one time. It, it, there's a lot of care coming from you to them. That's what I'm seeing. But uh, they've been influenced by this uh, not so good person. And uh, there are a lot of changes happening around this person. They've changed a lot. Uh, you know, everyone changes. Everyone goes through changes. But this is obviously a very negative change. Uh, and I think this might have been happening gradually as well. Because I'm just looking at this couple. And uh, they've got these horns and they've grown these horns. They didn't always have them. But I think because they've been around this devil uh, and they've been influenced by him, they've grown these horns. So this person's changed and it's because of someone else's influence. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of hurt in this. There's a lot of heartbreak. And I think it's your heartbreak because you, you miss the old them. You'd like them back. You want the old them back. That's the thing I'm getting. That's the feeling I'm getting here. Um, but yeah, they have this bad influence about around them. They probably still do. So if this is resonating, I actually think uh, they will eventually come back to you. Uh, I think they will grow tired of this person. Um, yeah, I think they'll see them for who they really are. They don't now. Uh, I think part of them does. I don't think you can kind of... Um, I don't think you can ignore. If someone's like the devil, um, you can't ignore that. But I, I don't think they want to see that. I think that's what's happening. Um, now, they are going to wake up. They're going to come back to you. Uh, they're going to come back again. Uh, they're not going to be exactly who they were before this all started. Uh, but things are definitely going to be better um, than they are now. Um, if you're still stuck in this situation, um, I'd keep... The communication open with them. Um, keep on, just just let them know the door's open. You can talk to them. I wouldn't put any attention on this other person. I wouldn't this bad influence. I wouldn't talk about them. I wouldn't say anything about them to them, because that's just putting attention on them. I wouldn't even say, oh, that terrible person. You want to get away from them. I just wouldn't say anything about them, because that's putting attention on them. And I think. That's just making them a little bit more rebellious. You know, the more you say, oh, that's a terrible person, the more they'll go, no, no, and they'll try to protest that. So don't say anything about them if this is resonating. Uh, you know, don't feed the devil. You know, if you look at this woman, if you look at her tail, there are grapes on the end of her tail and, and look at how fat the devil is. So that's the message here. Don't feed the devil. Don't feed the negativity. Don't give them any attention at all. And again, they are going to come out of this, um, but they're going to have to be the one that discovers what they're like, what's going on here. Um, they're going to have to be the one who separates themselves. No one else can do this for them. But don't lose hope. Don't lose any hope here because I am seeing them eventually getting out of this and coming to you. But they are going to be different. Again, don't expect them to be how they were before all this happened. That's what I'm seeing. So the next card you have you passed is the Two of Wands. Um, yeah, again, if you're going through this, obviously this is really hard for you to see this happening. Um, I keep on getting this feeling of you really, really care for them and you hate to see this happening. You care about this person. I keep on feeling that. Now, the other thing is that they've got a lot of potential um, you know, there's so much they could be doing with their lives. They're talented. I'm seeing someone with a big imagination, a very interesting imagination, but they're being held back by this influence. Um, it might be someone they're in a relationship with, or it might be a friend. It's someone who's really close to them, someone with a big, big hold on them. That's what I'm seeing. Um, because if you look at this man, he wants to move forward. He knows he has the whole world in front of them. So I think a part of them might already be feeling like, oh, there's more I could do than be here. I could do this. I could do that. Um, but, you know, there's, um, there's a wand that's behind this man that's kind of bolted to the wall. And that's what's holding him back. So this person's definitely holding them back um, from fulfilling their potential. So, yeah, they will come to see this in time. Uh, but again, 
this has to come from them. So if you can, uh, I know this isn't easy because I know it's really hard when you're standing back and you're watching this happen and you care for someone. Um, but just try and keep the door open for them. Just let this natural process take its course because I think if they realise this themselves, and they will, uh, and it comes from them and it's their idea, it's going to be way more powerful than anything you'd have to say anyway. That's what I'm seeing in that card. I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, so the last card you have, your past, is the Two of Swords. Yeah, again, I keep on seeing the same situation. I'm sorry if this isn't resonating, but I think someone really has to hear these or needs to hear these messages because, um, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing this very, very strongly, this situation. So I hope someone gets to hear this and I hope it helps them. Um, so, yeah, the message I'm seeing here is try not to go on what you see or, you know, try not to judge the situation on what you see, because I'm getting this feeling that someone's trying to give off uh, this impression that everything's fine, you know, everything's wonderful. And, you know, that's not right. You know, if you're in a situation where you're around the devil, um, you're not going to be feeling wonderful at all. It's just not going to happen like that. I mean, even if you're deluded and you want to think everything's wonderful, um, it can't be. And they know that deep down. They know that something's not right deep down. I'm not saying they're deluded, but someone's pretending things are fine. That's what I'm seeing here. Now, the symbolism of this blindfold on this woman can be about looking within, uh, seeing from within, not from without, not seeing what's in front of you, not seeing the things that have been shown to you, but looking inside yourself and having that inner knowing about the situation. You know they're not going to be happy staying in a situation like this. So just know that, just hold on to that thought. Try to ignore this false image, this false narrative that's being put out to the world. You know them. They might be putting out things on social media with happy pictures saying, look how happy I am, look at how wonderful I am. Don't look at any of that. If it helps you, um, you know, block that. Don't look at it, hide it, don't watch it. Just remember, just hold the faith, keep the faith, know the faith, the faith, know that this is going to come out in the right way. They are going to realise this and they are going to eventually get out of this situation. Uh, because if you if you watch these things and they start to bring you down, that's going to bring you down. So don't do that. Keep the door opened and uh, don't look at any of these pictures or any images or anything that they're putting out to the world right now. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so the first card you have for your present is uh, the star. Okay, so this is interesting. I'm looking at this star and I'm looking at the water as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually seeing a love connection here. But this is someone who might not be around you. They definitely have deep feelings for you. They absolutely do. And I don't think you realise that. Um I think you might know they have some feelings for you, but I don't think you realise how deep they are. Um, you know, if you look at this woman, she's obviously washing herself and she's by herself. So this is someone who's at a distance from you um, and there's some, or there's some kind of separation between you or something. They're not around you. And yeah, this is starlight. It's not sunlight. So that means we're not able to see everything that's happening in this card as clearly as we would if... Um, if the sun was shining. So if you look at the water, which obviously symbolizes emotions, we can see the water, we know it's there, we know the emotions there, but we can't see how deep it is because we're in the starlight. So yeah, I think you know someone has feelings for you, I think you know who this person is, but I don't think you realize how deep their feelings are. That's what I'm seeing there. Now, anyone who has really, really deep feelings. I think, you know, it has to come out of them eventually. They have to show those feelings at some time. So I think this person's probably a little bit afraid to approach you right now. Uh, I think you might have a history together. That's what I'm seeing as well. Um, and they're not approaching you now. They're looking at you from a distance. They might be looking at you on social media. Maybe not, but they might be. Um, you know, we're looking at this woman from a distance. Um, and uh, I think they will approach you eventually. I think they will. Um, I don't know if this is going to make sense, but I think they might have heard something you said once or seen something that you've said, an opinion you have. 
uh, about what you like and what you don't like. You, you might have said something like, oh, I don't like it when people say this or uh, if they like that or something like that. And uh, it's, it's, it's like you were talking about a preference and they heard that and maybe they're a little bit worried. It's like, oh, I'm not like that or can I live up to that or, oh, I don't want to be like that. It's that kind of thing. So I think they're a little bit worried about how you see them. And so, yeah, they're just a bit nervous about the impression they might make on you. So they're hesitating right now. They're just watching the situation. But I think eventually they are going to approach you. Okay, so the next card you have your present is uh, the Knight of Wands. Right, so because we have wands, they probably are going to approach you quite quickly, actually. So they're hesitating now, but uh, watch out for them uh, approaching you soon. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, and yeah, because this is the Knight of Wands, I think they're afraid of looking like this, you know, looking a bit out of control to you. Uh, I think they see you as someone who's really well balanced. Uh, you have a lot of self-control. You're even tempered. And, you know, they think you're attractive as well. I mean, look at how beautiful this woman is in the star card. That's what they're looking at. That's what they're observing. Um, and sometimes this card can be about coming ready or not. You know, I'm not ready, uh, but um, I have to do this anyway. You know, this knight's kind of rushing into battle because he knows he has to go into battle. He's not ready. He doesn't want to. It's like, I'm not ready, but I have to do this. Um, you know, he's not in control of his horse. It's kind of jumping up and down. And they don't want to look like this in front of you. They don't want to look out of control and kind of a bit crazy in front of you. Um, they're definitely going to talk to you, ready or not, because I think the other fear they have is that, um, you know, time will pass and they'll just miss their chance with you. So, yeah, this is someone you've known for a while, I think, because I'm picking up on these very deep feelings coming from them. And I think, um, you know, you have to know, have known someone for a while, I think, to have feelings like that. They're very, very deep. And, uh, yeah, that might give you a clue as to who this is. They're very, very uh, up and down emotionally. They're kind of a little bit um, not all that stable. They kind of make snap decisions. They're nervous. That might give you a clue as to who this is. Okay, so the last card you have your present uh, is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so this tells me you've probably connected with this person before, maybe even a few times. Um, so I'm not sure how you're going to feel about this because if they've come around to you a few times, you might be a little bit wary about them coming back again. I'm just looking at this wheel and it's kind of turning around and it's like they come around to you, but each time they come around again, you're a little bit more wary, a little bit more guarded, a bit like this sphinx on the top of this wheel and he's got a, a sword, he's holding up this sword. I don't know how many times they've been around. This might only be the second time but you're a little bit worried, I think. I don't think you're worried about being hurt. I'm not getting that. It's not that intense. Um, but you have had some dealings with them before, definitely. That's what I'm seeing. Um, and this might be one of the reasons why they're worried as well, you know, that you've seen it all before and you're like, oh, here they come again. You know, they might be worried you're feeling like that. Um, yeah, they're definitely going to approach you very nervously. Uh, it's almost like they're thinking, oh, it's time to step on the wheel and, and kind of go around for the ride because uh, it might not be back again. So I have to do this. I have to just step on whether I'm ready or not. So yeah, that's the kind of feeling I'm getting from them. So be ready. And also again, because this is the Knight of Wands, uh, it's, it's probably going to happen soon. They're going to come and uh, contact you very soon, I think. Okay, so the first card you have your future is uh, the King of Swords. Okay, so this is really clear. I think your first inst instinct uh, when they come and connect with you, it's probably going to be uh, a little bit like, you know, you're probably going to feel a bit like, oh, what do they want? What are they coming back for now? You're going to be a little bit wary. Uh, you're going to have a very clear head about this, a very logical head, because that's what this King's about, logic. Um, you know, he's very, very serious. Have a look at him. But I actually think there might be a part of you that does have some feelings for them in there somewhere. Uh, and they have really deep feelings for you. So there's something there. Um, you're definitely going to be cautious. Uh, and I'm getting a really strong feeling of, uh, you know, it's like, I don't want to lose my head again. I'm guarding against that. I'm using logic. 
Uh, so yeah, you're going to approach this from a very practical mindset this time, because I think you might have lost your head before. Um, so, and you don't want that to happen again. So uh, I think you might be asking things like, you know, are they the right person for me on a practical level? Are they at the right time in their life for me? Um, where are they in their life? Things like that, you know, and, um, yeah, you're going to think practically this time. I think last time you were thinking with your heart and this time you're very, you're going to be very careful not to do that. You know, you have a huge heart and you love deeply, but you're going to be approaching this in a totally different way this time. Um, it's part of that's going to be out of, you know, self-protection and another part of that's going to be, well, you know, I've seen them before, I've seen them come around before, what's different this time you know so you're going to be really just a little bit wary just you know with your guard up a bit against kind of what might happen okay so the first or the next card you have your future is uh, the hermit so yeah i think you're also going to be asking because the hermit's all about um knowledge learning uh using your mind thinking so you're going to ask yourself, um, what have they learned in that time? Has anything changed? Have they changed? You know, they might be coming around again and again, but if it didn't work last time and there's still the same person coming around this time, uh, what's the point? So yeah, you have a lot to think about. Um, the other thing I'm seeing is you've been through a lot of things. You're a very deep thinker. Um, and, you know, I think all the things you've been through have really moulded you. You think about things very deeply. Um, and I think they might have a lighter view of things than you do, if that makes sense. Especially if they're coming out as the Knight of Wands. You know, they kind of jump in without thinking. You're not like that. So, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with having a light-hearted view. But you've got to think about how well matched you are. So that's another thing you've got to think about because you're coming out as the hermit, you're coming up as the hermit, they're coming up as the knight of wands. So yeah, a lot to think about once again. Okay, so the last card you have your future is the six of pentacles. Yeah, look at these scales, there's an imbalance here. Um, and this is between you and this person who's coming back again. So obviously there was a reason why uh, you weren't together. There was a reason why you've or they've come around on this wheel of fortune around and around. It hasn't worked the first time, hasn't worked the second time or whatever. It's coming around again. And so you can't keep on doing the same thing over and over again and expecting something different to happen. So you've got to think about that as well. Uh, an imbalance doesn't necessarily have to mean uh, one person's right and the other one's wrong. Uh, sometimes it can, but sometimes it's about um, something's not quite working in harmony. Uh, so that's something else you've got to think about there. You've got loads of questions to ask yourself here. I am getting a little bit of caution here, but I am also seeing they have very, very, very deep feelings for you and you have some feelings for them too. You might say, I don't, but there is something there. So uh, I think you're probably going to be tempted to kind of at least listen to them, at least talk to them. But there are a lot of questions here and a lot of question marks around this as well, I think inside your head. So uh, you've got a long way to go if this is going to happen. That's what I'm seeing now. So Pisces, uh, I hope this resonated, but uh, general readings can't always resonate, as you know. Uh, but again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, uh, leave a, a comment if you'd like to, and uh, thank you so much for watching.